What's up, YouTube? Gary here. Um, wanted to give you a quick update as far as uh, race recap and uh, things that went right, things that didn't go so well, and how the pit cart worked out for us. Um, it was up to us to figure out something that was both uh, feasible in a small space, but could easily fit a growing setup as you know, we move up into the ranks and things. So it, it had to accommodate a lot of different variables. Um, it had to be somewhat lightweight, expandability, things of that sort. Um, we couldn't really find a tool cart that met that criteria, especially with the weight. Okay, so the race recap portion of this um, you'll see some of the stills uh, here that uh, we qualified uh, ran a 16995 um, our fastest time is a 16573 so losing about 0.4 uh, seconds and we're racket brains trying to figure out where that loss is coming from. Um, is it track temperature? Is it, you know, the tire, the, you know, durometer of the tire? We're measuring it. You know, do we need to up it, lower it? So there's definitely things that, you know, we're experimenting with trying to get that speed back because the car is really well right now so also uh, my driver posted up the car felt great which that right there as a pit guy means the world okay when the driver tells you the car the car's great the best thing possible okay so that was good now I know that in the last video uh, we talked specifically about you know starting 16th in the feature now the inversion rules okay make it so that the field is competitive so your medium to medium fast cars medium fast cars go right behind the medium speed cars your fastest guys are behind them okay and then your slowest of the slower in the back or if you didn't qualify for whatever reason you start at the tail okay this keeps the field fair okay is the way that it's told to us now with that the inversion process makes it harder for guys that you know, and women uh, that are battling through the field because slower cars you know if they're running two lanes and only two lanes on the track are working the cars only set up to run two lanes you know you can't really go into that third space and run three wide safely we do when the time calls for it and yeah it's either it sticks or you run out of talent and when you run out of talent you smack a wall and then you're rebuilding a car that's just the way it goes okay so we finished fourth which is respectable um, not a lot of problems uh, car handled great went on the trailer in one piece so job well done now some of the footage that I got also I know we're like four minutes into this thing um, there was a meet and greet for the drivers okay where they got to meet the fans fans got to meet the drivers it's kind of a mutual thing you know they pass out the hero cards some drivers give out t-shirts sign autographs take selfies you know the, the stuff that little kids like and us race nuts love 
you know, um, it was great. So my two knuckleheads, they went, they had a blast, got all kinds of hero cards and stuff and autographs and, you know, they loved it. Track loved it. It was also a memorial for one of the tow truck drivers that had passed away recently. Um, and to honor him, uh, a lot of people from around the different counties uh, got together with their tow trucks, showed up, and ran a couple of laps, uh, you know, and to honor him. Um, that was actually great. So, those are the things that I captured. And, of course, you know, I captured some late model footage. So, I love the way those things sound. Yes, I do. So, enjoy that. Oh yeah, those late models. Hmm. I can go to, literally, I could fall asleep listening to one of those things. I mean, my whole life, come on, I was around them, you know, worked on them, built them, you know, those things as a kid, man, that's, I loved doing that. That was, that was really cool. And then after, you know, sweeping the shop and then cleaning the cars, worked on helping setting rivets and then, you know, bending sheet metal and welding and things like that. You know, it's all in that basic intro video thing, but, you know, it, there's just something about that sound, man. Mm. So, anyway. I got more mods, um, trying out some new things, and the pack out cart, okay? So, oops, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. So anyway, um, I'm trying out something right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, the pack out cart worked phenomenal, okay? couple of things though with the dolly cart I noticed it pushed well on cut grass okay the soil was dry which I'm thinking that if it was you know damp um, it would have been a whole different story uh, the dolly cart got hung up twice uh, once in taller grass and then once on a crack like a transition from the grass to the pad uh, we actually had to lift it outside of that the dolly cart form performed well but I need bigger tires I need more ground clearance the other issue with running the dolly cart is the stack is really low okay I'm a shorter guy you know I'm only like five, seven, five, six. Okay. So that it, it's really low. And when we need to access something, we need to access something quick. Okay. That was one thing that we really, really wanted to upgrade. Okay. So that that's something uh, that we had to take into consideration uh, functionality of the cart okay the drawers flawless okay um, the storage fits everything that we need aside from the bigger things and that's one of the things that you heard fall and you know woo. Um, but the compressor the big pry bars and our tripod light those are crucial items we can't fit them on there so 
All right, so on the bench, I have the packable level lizard. And in it, as you can see, we have some really long things. Four things, as a matter of fact. Okay, so what do we have? First off, we have the 24 inch pectin. I have the long capri uh, pry bar. I have a kit over here, Steelman Pro, which is a half inch to three eighths. And then get over here, focus gear wrench, 33 inch, 3 eighths extension in there. Just trying it out to see how things are going to work. Um, my thought process is I need to be able to fit a wide variety of items, but going back to the stack here, okay, this stack goes with me to the shop to handle a lot of the things that I cannot fit in my cart. Okay, so it's a give and take situation. And I'm trying my best to figure out how to do that. So I really am liking how many items I can fit in the level lizard because that can go on one side. I can get another one for the back side or the side over here and be able to accommodate the long pry bars. Now, that's the thought anyway. So, in closing, you know, my thoughts, I, I love the pack out, okay? Hands down. I'm wondering how long it'll work uh, well for us, you know, once we move up and we need to expand. So, yeah, they're a bit expensive, but the fuel savings, the space in the trailer, the weight, all of that is well worth it. And with that, like, comment, share, subscribe. Might want to hit the notification bell. Don't want to miss what's coming next. Because there's a lot of fun stuff. So with that, I like you all. Keep it on the track.